It's Friday, May 14th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now with the headlines for today. Director of the Oscar-winning film Parasite, Bong Joon-ho, is working on a new animation project. According to local studio Fourth Creative Party, the full CGI animation is about an invertebrate sea creature that thinks it's having disc problems and the drama that happens between these creatures and humans. Pong has been working on two new projects since 2018, one of them being the animation and the other an English film based on a real event that happened in 2016. The fact that director Pong has chosen animation as his next genre was an unexpected surprise for many fans and is getting much anticipation. South Korea aims to become a global powerhouse for chips by the year 2030. Under the plan called K-Semiconductor Bell Strategy, South Korea will offer tax breaks and state subsidies to local chip makers to invest a combined 510 trillion won or 453 billion US dollars to achieve this goal. Among those companies, Samsung Electronics will be investing around $151 billion in system semiconductors, and SK Hynix will double its foundry capacity to tackle the global chip shortages. The plan was announced at a government event at Samsung's chip production complex in Pyeongtaek on Thursday, where President Moon Jae-in thanked the companies for their investments and stressed that Korea must seize the opportunity to dominate the global supply of semiconductors through aggressive support and investments. Hyundai Motor plans to invest $7.4 billion to produce future electric vehicles in the U.S. Through the plan, Hyundai aims to enhance production of its smart mobility technologies including electric and hydrogen cars in the U.S. by the year 2025. It will also invest in robotics, urban air mobility, and self-driving technology. This comes as Hyundai is set to launch its all-electric Ionic 5 in the U.S. this fall. And by expanding the production of American-made vehicles, Hyundai is aiming to secure its place in the U.S. market. Hyundai will begin its EV production in the U.S. next year. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.